We're going to talk about matrix computations in Apache Spark. It should be clear to you how being able to do matrix computation on a cluster should aid machine learning, knowledge discovery, and everything else that the folks at KDD care about. We're going to talk about how the matrix computations in Spark in particular are implemented. They're implemented with a very simple idea, and that is that vectors are often much smaller than matrices. They're often quadratically smaller than matrices. So if a matrix is square, a vector is the, uh, the size of the vector is the square root. Now, using that idea, we can do a lot of matrix computations that were traditionally um, only optimized on a single machine. And actually, those same algorithms, a lot of the same algorithms that were used on a single machine can be translated to run on a cluster um, as long as we can separate the matrix computations from the vector computations, which is actually the case in many algorithms, then the matrix computations can be shipped off to the cluster and the, the vector operations, which are on a much smaller data set, it's on a, on a, on a square root smaller data set, uh, can be done on a driver or a single machine. So using that idea, we can do the singular value decomposition uh, using uh, Arnoldi iterations and... and, and um, that is actually done with with packages and algorithms that were discovered decades ago. So the 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 new idea is really the distribution. Uh, similarly, we can distribute the TFOX optimization package, which can handle linear programs, and more generally, TFOX stands for Templated First Order Conic Solars. Um, it is a library built by by other folks uh, that it, uh, that we translated into Spark and is available now. We have matrix abstractions. The, that are, are optimized depending on the sparsity of your data and these already ship with Apache Spark out of the box. Come to our uh, talk and we'll, uh, we'll take any questions there. Thank you.